Gaussian thermal energy conversion uses the difference between cooler deep and warm water shallow and surface ocean waters to run heat engines and produce useful work, usually performed with electricity. A heat engine gives greater efficiency and power when run with large temperature difference. In the oceans, the temperature difference between surface and deep water is greatest in the tropics, although still a modest 20 Celsius to 25 Celsius. It is therefore in the tropics that Photic offers the greatest possibilities. Photic has the potential to offer lower amounts of energy that are 10 to 100 times greater than other ocean energy options such as wave power. Photic plants can operate continuously. A base load supply for an electrical power generation system. What is ocean thermal energy conversion? Ocean thermal energy conversion is a method for generating electricity which uses the temperature difference that exists between deep and shallow water to run a heat engine. As with any heat engine, the greatest efficiency and power is produced with the largest temperature difference. This temperature difference generally increases with decreased latitude near the equator in the tropics. Historically, the, the main technical challenge of Hotec was to generate significant amount of power efficiently from this very small temperature ratio. The main technical challenge of OTIC is to generate significant amount of power efficiently from small temperature difference. It is still considered an emergency technology. Early OTIC system were fair of 1 to 3 percent thermal efficiency. Well, Below the theoretical maximum for this temperature difference of between 6 and 7 percent, current designs are expected to be closer to the maximum. The first operational system was built in Cuba in 1930 and generated 24 kilowatt. Modern designs allow performance approaching the theoretical maximum of current efficiency. In the largest built in 1999, by the USA generated 250 kilowatt. The most commonly used heat cycle for OTIC is the round run from cycle or water cycle. Those cycle engines use working fluids that are typically thought of as a refrigerant such as ammonia or R13 or A. Open cycle engines use vapor from seawater itself as a working fluid. Water can also supply quantities of cold water as a byproduct. This can be used for air conditioning and refrigeration and the fertile deep ocean water that feed biological technologies. Another byproduct is fresh water distilled from the sea. This story attempts to develop and refine OTEC technology started in 1880s in 1881, Jacques R.C.P. Archambal, a French physicist, to go stopping the thermal energy of the ocean. The Archambal student George Gould built the first OTEC plant in Cuba in 1930s. The system generated 24 kilowatt of electricity with a low pressure turbine. In 1931, Nikola Tesla released our future motive power which describes such a system. In 1935, Gould constructed a plant aboard 10,000 cargo diesel moored off the coast of Brazil. Weather and waves destroyed it before it could generate net power. Net power is the amount of power generated after subtracting the power needed to run the system. In 1956, French scientists designed the 3MD plant for Abidjan Evert caused the plant was never completed because new tides of large amounts of cheap oil made it uneconomical. In 1962, G. Hilbert Anderson and James H. Anderson Jr. focused on increasing component efficiency. They patented their new clothes. Japan has no potential sites. It is a major contributor to the development of the technology primarily. For export. The United States became 
1974 established the Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii operating at Kihoi Point on the Kona Coast of Hawaii. In Japan, a one in the morning working with Kotek Island than near Tamil Nadu. And its government continues to sponsor research. Cycle types. Cold seawater is an integral part of each of three types of Kotek system, close cycle, open cycle, and hybrid. To operate the cold seawater must be worked the surface. The primary approaches are active pumping and desalination. A diagram of a closed cycle or pipeline. Closed cycle system used to be the annual drilling point such as ammonia or turbine to generate electricity. Farms of the sea is pumped to a creek. It's changing to vaporize the tubing. Expanding the vapor turns the turbo generator. Cold water pump through a second turn exchange condenses the vapor into liquid, which is then recycled from the system. Open. Diagram of an open cycle or pipeline. Open cycle is the most one surface water directly to make the test basin. Pharmacy water in a depression thing that causes it to boil. The expanding steam drives a low pressure turbine at each one electrical generator. A hybrid cycle combines the feature of the closed and open cycle system. In a hybrid warm seawater enters a vacuum chamber and is flash evaporated similar the open cycle evaporation process. The steam vaporizes the ammonia working through with the closed cycle loop. On the other side of an ammonia vaporizer, the vaporized fluid drives a turbine to produce electricity.